Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Max and today we're gonna to be tying the Candyman. So the Candyman is a big articulated streamer pattern. Um, I think it was made for the Big Horn River in Montana. And uh, its uh, primary colors are kind of like white, um, black, and then like a yellow with some brown mixed in there. Uh, I'm gonna tie mine in kind of like a rainbow or a juvenile rainbow trout variation today. Um, so kind of got some some cool themes in it. So in the vise, I got a uh, PR320 Predator Stinger from A-Rex. Uh, this is a one-aught size. Um, pretty cool hook. Um, you don't get very many, many of them in a pack, uh, but they are super strong, chemically sharpened hooks. Um, so definitely, if you've never tried tying on them, give them a shot. And thread we got some vivas six aught and we're just going to do some white so start back off the eye there and work down the shank start out with uh barred magnum zonkers the olive and if you were going to tie it in smaller sizes uh, Wapsi does have you covered so they've got the magnum they've got a standard and they also have a thin um, so you could you know tie it in a bunch of different sizes so the hide is just a little bit thicker on the magnum gives you a little bit more fur on there so we're going to make our tail about the length of the, the hook shank, maybe a little bit less. About there is good. So I'm going to kind of part my hide or my hair on top of the hide and get right down. Make sure that sits even on top and make some loose wraps and then I can start kind of tightening it down. So we're gonna use this whole rabbit strip for the, the remainder of the fly. So having a tool to where you can uh, either secure it or hold it back definitely helps. So we've got the, the loon pawn right there, helps secure that out of my way. So to save a little bit of time on this fly, I'm um, using one of the NFC brushes. Uh, you could always do a dubbing loop. Um, I don't think it blends as well with the schloppen. So having some kind of um, brush that is pre-made definitely helps you kind of get things how you want them. So got my brush here and it's got a nice, easy to use stem in there of wire. And I'm gonna tie that directly down to the shank and bring that all the way back to the hide. And then I'm gonna cut this brush directly in half. So I have one piece for each side. And then I've got my slopping five to seven inch in the white. And I want to make sure that I lay the bent side going down, or the V going down to the shank. Just going to tie tip in here. And work up to just right behind the eye. So now I've got both of these laying down right on top of each other. 
forgot my gator grips at home or else I'd be using my loom tool. So I've just got a pair of forceps here. And we'll grab both those pieces and then we're gonna start twisting them up. Now I've got some uh, silly legs, and these are silver and hot pink. And got two of those. Silly leg. So I'm just gonna have that on the thread and start it on each side. This is where we're going to part the schloppen brush blend and we're going to bring that rabbit strip right back over the top. Same thing right where it kind of matches up to where I'm trying to tie it in and pull back. on my thread and then we're just gonna hit it with some uh, bone dry just so it seeps into the thread and uh, there it comes undone on you. Snoop off the little tags on the silly legs. And just half the fly is done there. Pretty good. Start our thread back down the shank. Gonna go for some more trigger wire. This is red, I don't think color really matters. This is just what I got available to me. So spacing wise, I always wanna kinda leave a little bit of room here, especially since I'm gonna be using a fish skull or a bait fish head. I wanna leave myself a little bit of room there so that it can snug down onto the material. And um, something a little bit different today. I'm going to be using uh, two 4.5 mil tungsten beads um, as my segmentation for this fly. Um, I think it just helps add a little bit more weight um, and kind of always the issue, even with a sinking line, the fly never quite sinks as fast as you'd like with the drag of the water on the line. So. Having more weight in the fly can sometimes help that. So we got two beads here and we're gonna slide those on the wire. And then grab back half of the fly, feed that through. And go 
back through our two beads. And then just for a little more added security, just because this is a big fly and it's very versatile as far as what type of fish you're chasing. Um, we're gonna go back, double it over again, just to make sure that that wire never comes out. Never had an issue just doing it the other way, but it's definitely helped secure it a little bit more. Same thing, now you can snip out your wire. So now we're gonna take our rabbit strip and we want to make sure that it has enough give to where it's still natural and the back fly can move so it's not pulling the wire um, it's literally just seated on there so make sure your thread is down by the beads and I like to pull and add tension to the wire while i kind of find how much to give that high and lays down evenly. Now we're going to repeat the process with uh, the schloppen and our uh, brush. So I got my other half of my brush here tie the tip of that in. Cream back feather just like we did before. And so I tried to grab two feathers, this one being a little bit wider um, for the front half and the back half just so there's a little bit of a taper. Ready to go. Before I do that, I can add my silly legs in for the front side. Same thing, just one on each side have. Now I'm going to part the top. Bring my rabbit strip back over. Part the hide. And capture that right in front of the silly legs.
Da haben wir mal Bayfish Heads. Und das ist die uh, Medium. So, it's good for the number two, number one, and one eye size hooks. So, make sure that's going to fit on there pretty nicely. Got a fancy little electrical clip here. Kind of helps hold material back. So, load this up with some uh, some super glue. And then slide first skull on there. Push that back. And then just to make sure that doesn't come off, go back in with our thread and we'll build a little thread dam. Then we got some eyes to add on here. So now I got some uh, Loctite here. And I'm just gonna put a little dab on each one of these eyes. Same thing, tip or scissors or something you find just to push the tip down, God can work. And then take some more Loctite, put that on with the wraps. There you have it, the Candyman.